Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is the Nature Read for April 27, 2020. Of course, this is a timeless read, so whenever you watch it is when it was meant for you, okay? Um, yes, I would like to say do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment and share these videos somebody out there might actually enjoy them also to my subscribers welcome back and to any new subscribers welcome to the channel I'm so glad you're here so yes it is April 27th 2020 and it's a beautiful day out here in Missouri right Missouri USA <laughs> good old-fashioned country folk <laughs> Well, you know, I don't know. Anyhow, it is a nice day, though, today. It's very sunny, and um, I do have plants here that I'm ready to plant. Why? Because I'm in that true love energy, that happy, friendly, and loving type. And I have nothing to fear because I am calm and cheerful, and that is the mantra for this channel. So get to know it. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. You do what you want. But I do like to keep that energy around here um, just because, you know. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this nature read. It's such a beautiful day, and it's great to pull energy from the nature, right? Nice to sit out, breathe out fresh air. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a general energy for today's reading, okay? General energy for this nature read on this beautiful day in April, right? <clears throat> Timeless reading. So, general energy for today is... All right, we have the Queen of Coins. All right, there's somebody who is, you know, a financially abundant person. Female energy, right? Queen of Coins. Let's go ahead and find out <clears throat> what is going on with this Queen of Coins. Now, the Queen of Coins is very nurturing, just like all the rest of the Queens, but she's also giving too, right? She's loving, she's giving. Uh, she tends to overgive, if uh, you know, in some situations. Uh, so she needs to watch out for that if that's you and it's resonating with you. Yeah, try to watch out that giving, giving too much, right? Because there's a lot of takers out there. So let's find out what the next few cards are. Well, here's the first one. Actually, the first two. We have the magician, right? Next, we have the chariot. Let's kind of see what else flies out, right? Let's see what else flies out with this. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get another card. Whoa, that's, that would be too many cards. So let's see if we can get get another card here for this uh, this setup right here and see what's going on here. Something is wanting to come out. I just know it. Something. There it is. Look at that, the page of coins, all right? Somebody wanting to start stability with another, right? Could be this queen of coins, right? Somebody wants to set up some sort of stable, um, stable life or stable uh, environment, right? Somebody's trying to manifest this and they want to move towards it. And they do have a meager offer, all right? Small little offer that they're going to try and to win possibly this queen of coins over with this offer, right? Why is this magician card here? 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 Oops. Why is this magician card here? Well, we have two cards in the reverse, right? The first one is the four of rods. Okay, so somebody is trying to manifest, was trying to manifest some sort of union or get together, marriage, whatever, but there was a judgment that's not being made over this situation, right? Somebody is trying to manifest, but it doesn't seem to be working, okay? Um, somebody has possibly placed a judgment. This this Queen of Coins could have placed judgment on this individual who is trying to uh, manifest whatever it is, right? What else do we have? Look at that. We have the two of coins in reverse. Somebody has decided to stop juggling. Okay, so maybe somebody is going through some sort of healing, right? They're healing after the end of a possible um, 
commitment with somebody, right? A judgment has been placed, possibly not in their favor. But I do see that there's no more juggling going on here. Somebody is trying to resist that, okay? Um, what is this chariot card doing here? What is this chariot card doing here? This is a general uh, reading, general collective. So some things may resonate and some things might not. But why is this chariot card here, right? Why is this chariot card here? I know that somebody wants to say something about this chariot card. What's going on with the chariot card? Okay, I will be pulling. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, we do have the Eight of Rods, right? Somebody is moving forward. Okay, now they might be moving forward after they received a message of some sort, right? Uh, a message of some truth or... You know, somebody might have seen something that's going to push them forward after this message, right? And that's why the chariot is there, right? And why else is, uh, okay, well, we have the five of coins. Well, somebody was feeling left out in the cold, right? Then they got this message of passion and they came in, or they're, they're trying to get on that chariot to move forward with this individual possibly, right? Is there any other messages we have? Okay, what is that? We have elixirs, two of, elixirs, two of cups. Yeah, they want to share their... They want to share their emotions. How sweet, how cute, how nice, right? Something we all wish we could get. That would be awesome, right? But somebody out there is going to be lucky, right? Somebody's going to get lucky with some love, right? And why is this page of coins here? So we have the seven of coins. Somebody planted some seeds, right? They're trying to water these seeds, right? They're waiting for these seeds of intention to grow. Okay, so somebody is actually waiting for something, right? They might be waiting some with uh, for something involving this Queen of Rods. So they might be somebody might be involved with the Queen of Rods, right? They're waiting for something. There's a they're waiting to hear a, a certain message, a special message from somebody, right? Queen of Rods could be in this Queen of Coins uh, energy, you know, financially stable and all that. Um, but why else would this Queen of Rods be here under this uh, meager message of emotion, right? Whoa. All right. Well, let's see, because these are the lasties. So we got the Knight of Coins. All right. So somebody's going to try to come in uh, to uh, this Queen of rods or this queen of coins you know if it's the same in one then they're going to come towards this queen with um a message all right a, a stable a secure message right they're hoping that this message will allow them to become like come out of the doghouse basically because they were feeling trapped uh in their situation maybe they couldn't come forward with any sort of um financial stability or or even just some balance in this relationship because uh, there were issues already that were uh, had taken place here, right? There was already some issues in this person's or life, right? So let's get these up and let's see. Let's find out, you guys. Um, let's find out what this person plans on doing. What this person who is, you know, going through these trials, what this person plans on doing right and why is this uh, queen of coins energy still blooming right why is this what is this person planning on doing the person that is showing up in today's reading this nature reading for 27 2020 what is going on for this person and um what are they planning you know what, what are their ultimate uh, goals here right <clears throat> So, yeah, that's the next thing we're going to find out. What are the ultimate goals of this person, right? For this nature week, uh, what does this person have planned in the immediate future, right? Things have happened, yes. People have gone through things, but somebody has something planned for the immediate future. What is it that this person has planned in regards to this Queen of Coins energy, right? So, the first few cards out. Whoops. The first few cards that come out will be, whoa, that's too many first few cards out will be let's try that one more time first few cards out will be first card out is the king of blades okay we all know that that guy eventually he turns into the emperor right so not quite there yet still learning some lessons right we have the ten of coins possibly trying to gain some finances right this person could have uh, air in their chart gemini libra aquarius male energy right 
see what else comes out. There might be another card or two. There it is. Okay, so we have the um, Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from possible financial situation, right? And it could be um, there's something going on here. This person, it seems that they might be going through some sort of enlightenment phase, uh, kind of at the point where they're like, you know what, money doesn't matter. Uh, well, it does to an extent, but for happiness, no, it doesn't, right? So somebody might be, um, you know, walking away from somebody who's offering them money, possibly, to try and keep them away from what they actually uh, are striving to, striving forward to, right? So why is this King of Blades here then? Why is this King of Blades here? And why is that energy looming over this reading, this King of Blades, right? Tell us a story about the King of Blades. What's going on with the King of Blades? See what's going on with the King of Blades, right? Well, first of all, we have the Nine of Cups. So, uh, yeah, this person wants wish fulfillment. Okay, Two of Cups. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, King of Blades is wanting to come forward to somebody. What was this one? All right, Ace of Coins. Yeah, a new stable beginning with someone, right? I think this guy, or this male energy, this guy energy, is trying to go towards this Queen of Cups, or Queen of Coins, excuse me. Yeah, why is this Ten of Coins here? 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 Okay, there's going to be some uh, truth that comes in in regards to the situation. Somebody's going to come in with the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth, right? Let's hope. So let's see. We do have the four of uh, coins in reverse. So somebody here is not feeling it anymore, wanting to let go, right? They might want to let go of this empress, all right? And that's why they're going to come in with the truth like that. They're going to come in with the truth because they want to end it. They're over this. They're over this back and forth. They're over this um, whatever's going on here. They don't want it anymore, okay? Maybe this soul tie. Maybe someone's tired of a soul tie, right? We have the Knight of Rods no longer coming in passionately to this Empress, okay? Now, why do we have this Eight of Cups here, right? Why is this Eight of Cups here? Why is this Eight of Cups here? Why is somebody walking away from this, right? Is it the Empress walking away? Or is it the Knight of, or the King of, um... Or is it the King of Swords, right? Well, first of all, we have the Death card. Somebody walked away from an ending that occurred, okay? Um, it could have been with this Queen of Rods, okay? So that was a separate person, Queen of Rods, from the Queen of Coins, okay? In the, the past setup, setup that we had, right? And yeah, somebody's walking away from that situation, right? There's been an end to that, all right? And somebody's definitely going into hermit mode because that's the right thing to do, right? Going into hermit mode to heal, right? Not from jumping from here to there to everywhere like some kind of kangaroo, right? So somebody's going into hermit mode after this breakup. I do see uh, the strength card in the reverse. So yeah, it might be uh, a Leo that you were dealing with, but you're no longer having the strength to uh, put up with this relationship anymore, right? So it looks like an ending has come here for this guy, okay? Now, if the ending has come to... Um, uh, if the ending has come to the Queen of Rods, what uh, is this um, person? Uh, who is this person going towards, right? You want to know now who is this person going towards, right? Since he's going to, uh, he's going to go within being hermit mode already. There was a separation with the Queen of Rods. Who is this person going towards, right? Who is the new person that this person is going towards, right? Who is the new person that this person is going towards? Who is the new person? Who is the new person that this person is going towards, right? Who is the new person that this person is going towards? Right? So let's see, that feels good. <sighs> Who is the new person that this person is going towards? Whoa, jeez, you guys. 
what is that? We have the page of coins. Somebody is coming towards somebody, right? And look, seven of coins. This is something that he is uh, waiting for. Something is going to happen, right? Who was that? Yeah, king of coins. Okay, so this person can uh, have air and earth in their chart, right? Um, why is this a uh, page of coins here? Why is it page of coins here? This is a major message, right? A major message of financial security or a gift. Somebody might have a gift for somebody. Right. This could represent uh, having a gift, giving a gift, whatever, or um, also this could, the page of coins could represent somebody saving money or squandering money, you know, little by little. Um, but let's see, why is this page of coins here? Why is this page of coins here? Okay, so we have the Ace of Rods, new passionate beginning, seven of blades, but there was some deception. And we have the Six of Rods. Okay, so somebody wanting victory over some deception that took place, right? Somebody made a promise, and uh, they did not keep it. Okay. So, yeah, somebody maybe stepped out of a relationship or promised some sort of stability or happiness or whatever, whatnot, but it didn't really happen, right? What else is going on here? Hanged man that left somebody in the hangman mode because you know somebody really had um you know they really were trying to have the strength to hang on to this they really really were but it looks like um it might not have um panned out to whatever the it is they thought you know let's find out what the seven of coins is here what's the seven of coins here why is this seven of coins here okay look at that we have the star somebody is hoping for whatever it is they manifested to actually come to fruition but it does seem that there was a death in the situation right eight of cups yeah they walked away and uh they did want to start something new with this person why why did they walk uh, why why is this king of coins here now then why is this king of coins here now then why is this king of coins here now then what's he doing there what does the king of coins have to do with any of this too much what does the king of coins have to do okay well he's trying to manifest he's trying to manifest something could be money could be love could be stability whatever you know it could be an epiphany trying to manifest some kind of answers you know reading books looking things up. I don't know. This person is definitely trying to manifest something that's involving this relationship. What is this? Yeah, but this person's got some secrets. Holding on tightly to those secrets, too. Doesn't want to let go. Um, but he does have the feeling he might have to tell somebody, and that is the Empress. You might have to tell this Empress about these secrets, okay? Especially, especially whoops, sorry. Especially if... Uh, He's trying to get back with this person, right? You gotta be honest about things, okay? You can't just be willy nilly about everything, hoping that, you know, sunshines and rainbows are going to occur when there has been deception and lies and cheating and all that. You gotta fix it. You can't just come back in like nothing happened. You gotta talk about it. You have to, you know, be on the same page with the other person. If the other person doesn't like that activity, well, don't you think you, sh you ought to not do that, right? But that's what we have for the reading part. Um, let's go ahead and see what the Loteria cards have to say about all this, okay? They seem to be okay yesterday. So let's see what kind of message we get from the Loteria cards. I'm just going to do a real quick nine card setup so we can see what's going on. What does the Loteria have to say about all this, you know? Because this is a different mindset right here. <laughs> is a different mindset okay so what are the first three cards out whoa damn these guys are popping Woo! <laughs> shit <laughs> first of all we have anticipation in the reverse we have shock in the upright and we have la serena okay so we have the number 13 card can reduce down to number four, okay? For life path number can be somebody's uh, number, which means that they could have been born on the 13th also or on the fourth, right? Um, also here we have um, anticipation. So the person who is resonating best with that number 13 and that hat anticipation is possibly um, having issues. Uh, is this not anticipating whatever it is that 
they thought would come by, right? And it's no shock to this person. It's no shock to them, right? Because they know that the person that they were dealing with was really entrancing, you know, like this ascending, yeah, you know, like this person who is just manipulation, right? And and they have you under their spell type of thing, right? So let's find out. We're going to see what the next three cards are here, right? What are the next three cards? From this Loteria deck, you know, we've got a different uh, idea here when it comes to the Loteria. All right. What's going on here? What are the next three cards? There it is. One. Unity. Somebody is not anticipating this unity, right? Because they've been enlightened. They, they feel like maybe this is not going to, or if it does come to fruition, it might not fare the way they want it to, right? Um... Yes, they maybe in the past they might have felt like this was the perfect match, but I think now uh, I think they've kind of changed their mind in that situation, right? No longer seeing that they are uh, a match, right? Perhaps they are. There's something lacking here, and this is why this person doesn't feel as if they are the match, right? So, first of all, we have El Apache, okay, conform. So somebody is basically doing what everyone else does, right? And this is why it's been taking so long. And since this person is so up in their ego about doing what everybody else does, then, you know, it's not even worth waiting for somebody like that, right? This person is very inconsistent. Sometimes they love you and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're playing you love songs and sometimes they're playing you I'm sorry I must go or forever songs, right? Last kiss goodbye songs, whatever, you know? But I do see that this is getting old because it's like playing the harp over and over again and this relationship is de deteriorating, okay? And so the, the situation between two people here in this setup is that the, de the relationship is deteriorating, okay? The person thought they had the other person under their spell, but they basically broke free from that, and there's no longer a unity. This person, front and center, has been enlightened on the situation and sees that, no, this is not my match, and I will not conform to what everybody else believes is the norm, right? I am, this person is inconsistent, and basically my love for that person is deteriorating now. Look, we have five and three for deteriorate, that that actually is uh, put, targeted out to me, and that reduces down to the number eight. So this could be something that is <clears throat> a life lesson to somebody out there something that they've had to go through in this lifetime doesn't necessarily mean that they will be with this person but it is a life lesson okay so let me get these up <clears throat> and finally we're just gonna go ahead and these are these are a little new thing about of mine you know I'm constantly making oracles and crap like that so <clears throat> this is something I came up with has little messages on the cards right now, I did want to say, this is just a prototype, okay? They've worked all right, you know, with sending out a message, but um, I have improved it. So I've decided this actual deck that I'm holding in my hand, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, please like the video. The most, uh, I would like to collect a lot of likes on this, and then I will actually uh, write all the names down, put them on a little piece of paper, and I will <clears throat> do a drawing. And I'll send these to whoever wins the drawing. I think I'll probably keep that open um, for, uh, I don't know. I'll keep it open for a while. We'll see, you know. But just know that these are ready for, uh, I will be donating this to the, to the person, uh, to somebody who likes the video, right? <laughs> or um, I will have it raffled off, whatever you call it. I don't even know what you call that, but... Um, I'd like to at least get over um, 10 likes. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, yeah, if you could, if the, as many likes for the next, um, since I'm a new channel and I don't really have very many subscribers, let's let this carry on for two, well, we'll go for two to two to three months, okay? Depending how many likes this video gets uh, in two months, <clears throat> if I'm getting quite a few, then I'll just stop there. If I don't really have much, I'll give it one more month. And then, uh, see. Video of 
me reaching into something with names on it, and I will announce the winner, and then you can uh, email me and <clears throat> uh, find out how I can send these out to you, okay? So these are like love messages type of thing, right? Okay. So now that's for likes on this particular video. Okay, now it might not resonate this video with you, but this is the video I'm going to use or that I've decided to use to actually wrap up these little these little love message, message cards, okay? So, um, yeah. Let's find out what kind of love messages we have for the viewer. All right. Maybe if they're resonating with or without this uh, reading. But we're trying to find out what... Uh, what kind of love message do we have for the viewer today? Whether they are in love or whether they're not, or whether they're in some kind of relationship or whatever, what does somebody feel for you? Okay. okay let's see what those say. First of all, we have We Are Soulmates. Wow. You may have met this person in the city. They're saying that they miss you, okay? See the letter C and the number four, all right? I also see the color blue, so somebody um, somebody might like the color blue. Now, I also see the green heart, so somebody might be trying to work on their heart chakra. Then we have the purple and the blue. Uh, somebody also may be trying to work on their throat chakra and their third eye chakra. Interesting, okay? that See, I got that one message off of one heart. So, um, yeah, these will be given out after, I don't know, two or three months or something like that. <clears throat> All right. So also now this is another message. Somebody may have met another person in the mountains and they like purple. Okay. Um, they might be the uh, Chinese sign of a goat, right? You could have actually had a business with this person or worked out of business with this person. Um, I'm sorry I hurt you. So this person may have, you may have been in a relationship with this person in the past, right? I do have the letter V here. I have the red uh, heart, which could signify that there's an issue with the, uh, um, uh, the grounding chakra. I don't know why I cannot think of, uh, the root chakra. Shit, you guys, can't believe it. So there could be something wrong with somebody's root chakra right here. Also third eye chakra and speech, communication, and opening the heart chakra a little bit. It needs to get open a little bit, right? And that's very, very interesting. Okay. So now we have the letter T. We have the number three. We have the letter uh, yeah, the letter T. Okay, so what does it say? I was misled. Okay, well, uh, ever met anyone like you? Okay, so maybe they've never met anyone like you. I'm thinking of you right now. Oh, cute. Okay, so we also have another heart here, which is a yellow, and that could be the sacral chakra, right? This could uh, indicate um, somebody having issues with their um, internal, internalizing, internal organs, right? This could be the uh, you know, these uh, sexual organs, whatever, something like that, right? I also see the red heart there, so another root chakra, not doing well with the root chakra, but I do see that somebody's heart chakra is beginning to open, and that's nice. <clears throat> All right, so that is the message that I got for you today, and I really hope that you enjoyed today's nature read. Um, once again, um, like the video and um, after approximately two months from now I'm saying thinking um, I will go ahead and choose uh, from all the likes that I got and I will actually put that on video put it on and show and announce the winner of these little love message cards okay that I have created and they're really neat and really fun and uh, hopefully you can win them all right. Stipulation here is yes, you need to give me an address to mail them to. <laughs> All right. So if you know somebody with a P.O. box, maybe that'll be good unless you trust me, which I don't plan on doing anything mean or malicious to you. But, uh, you know, we're all different. Um, yeah. So go ahead and like that video. You can win those. Um, in approximately two months. My name is Mona. We like to radiate with true love energy around here. And this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.